hi guys it's me again and you're welcome back to my channel if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is Chidi Machike James and yes today we are filming a get to know me tag um I don't know I, sh I feel I should have done this video since I should have filmed this video a long time ago but for some reason I don't even tell why I've not filmed it all right so today we are heading straight into that video The first question that I have here is, what is your name? Well, my name is Chidemachike James, as I already mentioned earlier. Next question is, what does your name mean? Well, I'm from Nigeria and from the Igbo tribe, to be precise. So, Chidema means God is good. Chi is God. D is ma good, right? So, Chidema means God is good. Where are you from? Well, I'm from, I don't even... I'm from Abia State, originally married to Anambra State, Newi to be precise. So married people watching this video, let us know in the comment section, anytime someone asks you, where are you from? By default, what comes to your mind? Do you say where you're from, like yourself, as an individual first, before you say where you're married to, or you just go ahead and say, I'm from where my husband, like mention your husband's place, let us know in the comment section, because for me, I don't know, it's that, most times I even just say I'm from Anambra, which is where I'm married to, I don't even bother telling, like saying I'm from Abia, I just go straight and say I'm from Anambra, but when I feel like it, I just say I'm from Abia, married to Anambra, so next question, where were you born? I was born in Delta State, because growing up, my parents were living in Delta State, so I was born in Delta State. Next question is, where did you grow up? I would say I grew up in Abia State. Partly in Aba, partly in Omaha, because up until my primary school, I was, of course, living with my parents and they were living in Aba. But later on, when I got my secondary school admission, I moved on to Omaha. I was in boarding house and I attended FGD to Omaha. That's where I did my secondary school. So from then on, I was spending most of my time in Omaha. Like, because we spend most of our time in school and we spend with our parents, right? So I was spending most of my time in boarding house because I was a, I was a bother from just one to SS3. So I was... I was in school most of the time and then later on in my you know later in life when i gained, gained admission i moved to abia state university Uturu. so basically i grew up in abia state which of your parents are you closest to i was very close to my mom god bless her soul she's late now but yes i was closer to my mom than i was to my dad next question is who did you look up to growing up growing up i looked up a lot to my sisters my older sisters so i come from a family of four i have my eldest brother and my two immediate sisters then myself so we were just four three girls and a boy so growing up my sisters were the perfect role models and perfect examples i don't even have memories of my sisters being scolded or spanked or anything like that it was all appraisal for my sisters especially my first sister like she was just like a mini god in the family you know you understand what i mean she was just like the perfect sister and my immediate other sister also so like i i looked up to them a lot for a whole lot of things because you know they were just the perfect role models for me the next question is what is your biggest accomplishment well my biggest accomplishment is being a mom i know some people out of the school of thought that it's not an accomplishment to be a mother it's not an accomplishment to be a wife why do people feel like their accomplishment well that is your own opinion in my own opinion my best accomplishment or my biggest accomplishment is being a mother and a wife right so i don't need your opinion here just keep whatever you think to yourself this is my biggest and my greatest accomplishment and i'm super proud of it all right so next question what is your biggest regret for me my biggest regret would be not starting youtube earlier i know that youtube is one thing i've always wanted to do like I've always known that this is what I want to do, but then I didn't have the courage to move into, you know, having a YouTube channel or opening a YouTube channel. So I was just whiling away time. I don't even know why. All right. So my biggest regret would be why I didn't start a YouTube channel in my late, you know, in my late teen days or in my early 20s. Yeah, I would have, you know, loved it if I started YouTube earlier than this. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear would be to be a failure. I don't want to fail. Yeah, I don't want to fail God. I don't want to fail my husband. I don't want to fail my children. I don't want to fail my family. I don't want to fail in my career. I don't want to fail. All right? As simple as that. That's my biggest fear. What is the most important thing in your life? Well, the most important thing in my life right now is my family, my children, my husband, my siblings. They are the top of my priority. So they are the most important thing in my life right now. 
who is your favorite musician my favorite musician is dancing on Yekan. i love his music i love 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 his music so most times almost every morning i play his music they help me connect easily and i just love his music a lot so dancing on Yekan is my favorite and my all-time best musician what is your favorite color my favorite color is coffee brown and anytime i tell people this they're like like really is that the best like <laughs> they are brighter colors why is it for coffee brown well that's my favorite color i can remember back in school in university there's this my friend she would be like your clothes your wardrobe is not girly like why are your clothes either black or brown <laughs> like what is wrong with you why can't you have like orange pink red you know colorful clothes in your wardrobe why does it have to be like you know dark dark colors your wardrobe is not girly i'm like yes yeah, just leave it for me like that well then i didn't know better so i used to buy clothes based off on my you know favorite color so anything coffee brown i just love it my bags brown either brown or black all my tops are either brown or black i used to just shop based off on you know coffee brown is my best color so i just want everything about me to be coffee brown coffee brown yeah but i know better now <laughs> what is your favorite food my favorite food is white rice and white beans with stew oh god i love white rice and white beans with stew that is my all-time favorite food of course i have lots of favorite but this is the top on the list white rice and white beans with stew preferably with fish you know what i mean oh it takes you to another level i tell you <laughs> that combination of food it takes you to a whole new level i promise you that are you scared of heights well i am yes because when i'm in a very high tall or tall building like three-story or even four-story buildings i know they are not that high but to me i think they are you know they are high enough i find myself avoiding the edges i avoid the rails i don't even want to look down because once i look down i just feel like light-headed and i feel like i'm going to fall off so i think that's that means that i'm afraid of height or i'm scared of height or i have phobia that's the right word for height so yes i have phobia for height are you a good cook well i think i'm a good cook i'm a good cook because i enjoy my food and people around me enjoy my food and my husband compliments my food so yes that means that i'm a good cook who is the best teacher you ever had the best teacher i ever had growing up would be my math teacher mr otter that man is a genius i mean i, I feel like it's a grace he was carrying there until i became his students I, I didn't used to like math math was a big struggle for me so if we have if we have a test coming up or an exam coming up i won't even read any other subjects i will keep reading math so until we write math once i'm done writing math eh, i will now like feel lighter even at that i was still struggling in the exam hall but after i met mr ta after i became my math teacher all that changed he's really a good math teacher yes he's my favorite teacher and wherever he is now shout out to you mr ta <laughs> <laughs> for making math easy for me what was your favorite subject in high school my favorite subject in high school would be literature either literature or english between in fact both of them you know i used to enjoy literature class i used to enjoy english class so yes they are my favorites dogs or cats mm, i would pick dogs any day over cats i don't like cats because they are sneaky like they just come sneaking around your leg when you're not looking and then start to you so yes i prefer dogs over cats any day what is your channel about well my channel in my channel i film about faith motherhood and lifestyle so you would see me share my faith experiences my motherhood experiences and document my lifestyle every now and then in vlogs yes that is what i film about in my video where do you see yourself in the next 10 years well in the next 10 years i see myself at the top of my youtube career god willing you know my channel doing so well 1 million subscribers and counting by the grace of god yes that is where i see myself with 1 million subscribers on my youtube channel you can say your own so guys i think i'll be ending this video here if you're not subscribed to this channel please do me a favor by clicking on that subscribe button and also hit on this notification bell so that you get notified anytime i post thank you for clicking on this video i appreciate you sticking around to those points and i love you to some other time bye